Well, if you take a look right behind me, you might think we're in the middle of nowhere, but actually we're in Chatsworth, California, on the set of John Travolta's new movie, Swordfish. Now we're going to go talk with the celebrities and find out what's going on. Dominic uh, came to me with quite a bit of passion about this, uh, really wanting and seeing me in this part. And uh, I read it and I thought with some tweaking that it would be fit me just fine. It's tight and it's fast and furious and it's light at the right moments and the twists and turns. And the opening two pages would all I would have had to have read of the script to have said, I'll do this. And when you see the movie, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's a character-driven action film that we're doing, and uh, you know, we wanted to give it some, some good action pieces. You know? So we've dreamt up a couple things that uh, we have never seen before. Basically, the story centers around this uh, big heist that uh, they're trying to do through computers, breaking into the bank's sort of vaults via the computer over the phone lines. Mm -hmm. And the money they're stealing was acquired from this operation called Operation Swordfish. The Travolta character is a pretty eccentric uh, character. I guess Gabriel's kind of a spy, you know, uh, works for the government and uh, until he gets mad and he works for himself. <laughs> That's kind of what he's about and uh, he has his own idea of how to handle terrorism in his own fashion. And uh, that's kind of him in a nutshell, you know, and he, this uh, guy he meets, Hugh Jackman, is a, a computer expert and he uses him to kind of uh, get the money he needs to handle his form of terrorism. Yeah, uh, Hugh Jackman is, uh, you know, a down on his luck computer hacker who just got out of prison, who's living in a trailer in Texas, got a daughter that he can't even get to see. The world that they live in is uh, so foreign to me and it is a real subculture that is so, um, vibrant and powerful and here you got these guys girls in their early 20s they had the power to more power than most people ever get in a lifetime no matter whether they're in politics business or whatever because they can get this access to information this is a pretty eccentric and a very different piece i think very unique i mean the story is like not one you've seen before and the twists and turns are unpredictable so i think it's own it's in its own little niche i mean it's got if you're looking for wall-to-wall -wall action that's something else this is sort of you know interesting characters, intriguing situations, and some pretty unorthodox and outrageous action. So I think it's a good mix. Again, I'm, I guess I'm in the action mode again. <laughs> so it's fun and it's, uh, it's different.